Hello Al, I just wanted to show you this video to kind of give you my pitch about this box. Is that uh, it, it's designed very specifically the whole ways around. So I, I want to give you the logic to it because I'm basically trying to sell you on this idea. Um, obviously it's free, but what I'm trying to do is get you to use this box because it, it has some good things that I would want if I was getting this. Number one, it uses just common number six screws. I can go down and I bought these from Lowe's. And it also, no matter, it also it works with this type of head, you know, the rounded top and the flat bottom, but it doesn't matter. You can actually use one of these uh, tapered head screws, you know, that fit right down in there. So it works on um, any of them, uh, the flat head screws or the rounded head screws. So that's important so that if I lose a screw or something and I have to open it up for some reason, who knows why? I mean, you wouldn't think they would, but I've already opened this box several times. So it, it's nice to be able to have a box that I'm not screwing into plastic to hold the thing down to. I'm actually screwing all the way through and I'm screwing to one of these uh, nuts that's pressed in the bottom. And as you can see, all the nuts just press right in. They go down a little bit farther than flush so that they never stick out too much. And they just press in like that. And they're tight enough that they don't fall out. There's no big deal there. But the nice thing is, is that when you, if you use this screw right here, it's from the bottom of the head to down here is 1.2 inches. Now I think they call this a one and a quarter inch screw. So I went ahead and made this so if for some reason from the bottom of the head here all the way down to the bottom of the screw was the true real 1.25, this will still fit. Um, but as you can see, if I use this screw and I put it in there to hold it, and then I, you know, tighten it, tighten it all the way in there, my hands shake all the time here. So anyway, if you tighten it all the way, it does not go past the bottom. In fact, it's right in there, right at the bottom of the screw. And that's so that if you can tighten this entire box, and it can just sit wherever. They can clamp it here or however you want to do that. But you know, that that's really not the real world. I mean, that that's just another clamp I have to build or whatever, but that's fine. I mean, there might be a time that you want this box where you're not having it um, bolted down. Maybe you want to Velcro it or whatever. So we give them that option. The other option is, and I'm gonna use one of these flathead screws to show you that not only can you use these rounded head screws, you can use a flathead screw. It doesn't matter once you get past the longer length. But if you use one of these screws and you run it through, what it does is that you can take this all the way up and tighten it. My hands shake so bad it's hard for me to do a lot of things. So when you put the box together, it actually tightens the box lid down. And so the lid box won't come off, even if you have to mount this to something else. So the lid box always stays on. And then what you can do is then you take, and this can, you can just drill these common size hole distances, and you can slide it into a plate, and then you can take another nut and, and tighten it or uh, lock a lock nut or whatever you want to do and do that. Now, if I have a little short quarter inch plate, I could use this or a three eighths inch, I could use this. But if even if I had something super long that I had to go through, you can use any common size you wish for these number six screws. And once again, they tighten against themselves. So they're tightening against this nut in here to here and it holds the lid on. So, you know, if you're taking that, you gotta take this off and move it or whatever, this doesn't fall out and all the guts don't fall out. This else does that. So what you can do is if you want to, you can ship them like this with the box, with these short screws so it's flat like that. And um, if you ask them or, they can go down to Lowe's or you can send them these, I guess, if you want to. And they can buy whatever length um, number six screw they need. And if they screw up and accidentally get the flathead ones, no problem, those work. If you get the round head ones, no problem, those work. They both fit, they fit in there, they're flush. Everything's flush on the top so it doesn't catch on anything even when we put the new logo in there. So all's good. And another thing in here is that I, I you know, I kind of changed this plate here so that um, these have a little bit of room around them and we can change that if you want. But you know, as you can see, everything lines up nice. But another nice thing about this design is, if you, for some reason, get a weird board or you you put something together different or, or whatever, 
One of the nice things about, I'm trying to talk through this as I unscrew this. One of the nice things about having this design, and I think you kind of have this on your other design, is, is that you always want to, if you have to make modifications to anything, you want to make it the smallest part possible or the cheapest part possible to modify if you're going to have different things. And on one, this one is obviously this plate just pulls out. So if you find you get a weird one of these that's a little off, then you can just change these dimensions here a little bit and just change this plate that fits in here. Now since this is open, let's talk about the inside of this box. Obviously we have a plate here that slides into notches here, and we have another set of notches back here which has this item here, which is my adjuster. What it basically is is that it's a little bit too short, this distance here, so that this thing actually can slide in quite easily, or you can add little pieces of electrical tape here. Now I had black tape in here, but you couldn't, it was so nice with the black that you couldn't even see it, and that's what kind of what I wanted if they ever opened it. But it adds a little bit of flexibility through the, the, the wedge that goes in there, and or it adds a little bit of flexibility with the, with the electrical tape. And I use electrical tape in case there's a little something or solder sitting out here so it doesn't, um, you know, short out. I don't know why it would. Now, of course, I didn't bring my little, uh, usually I have a little screw that I use there, um, a little sheetrock screw that I screw in there and I can pull that wedge out. But I might show you a different video after we get done with this and something else. But all you do is you screw in the little sheetrock screw and that wedge just pulls out and that releases the tension on this. And then you can take this and this and just slide it all out together. And then you can take your unit out. Then when you put them back together, you, you go ahead and put it in here and you just kind of hold this and you just kind of slide them down there. And it, it puts pressure against the front a little bit and it puts pressure when you push the wedge in here to tighten this up. And as you see, it doesn't do anything. Yet, they're really easy to get in and out of there. And with this also, by having this little pressure there, this keeps... Um, it off touching the bottom which allows some airflow to go through there and obviously you can see there's airflow on the top so I, I think that's kind of an important thing that you want now this is actually different size than the first one you sent me so it kind of worked out well that it it it, it still fit with this um, because the wedge I actually had to push the wedge in a little bit farther because this was a little shorter than the first one you sent me and it, it just pushed it in tighter so actually what I went ahead and did is I made two different sized wedges so that you have a smaller wedge and a larger wedge and this is actually the smaller one shoved away in there but I could have used the bigger wedge and then not had to push it down as far if this happened to be a little bit shorter and such so that's kind of the design of this whole thing and as you can see the nuts kind of look nice in there and everything works well and then when you put it on there, you get a nice custom little box that can lay flat if you want it to, or to, just by changing the screw out, it can mount to other things. So that's kind of my pitch on this whole thing. And if, if I had to suggest is that I try to use this. I, every 3D printer print, prints a little bit different. For mine, it prints holes a little bit smaller than what I put in the computer. So if I point 0.25, I really have to put 0.254 in the computer to get a true 0.25 inch hole. So when you print yours out, you might have to test it to make sure that these nuts fit in there. You know, I want them tight enough so that they don't fall out, but loose enough that they go in. And like I said before, if, you, if, if they're a little bit tight, no big deal, but you can see it's going to go in, but just a little bit tight. Shove one of these through, screw it to the end, pull it back here, and then just screw it tight, and it'll actually need to pull it in nice and straight and, and pull it in there. But if you needed to, I, if your printer is printing it just a little too tight, no big deal. We can loosen up these holes a little bit or loosen up these and such. You mentioned something about a three millimeter screw hole, and I assume you're just giving me the hole in millimeter distances, but if you're using millimeter screws, I would really, really, really pressure you, not pressure you, uh, encourage you not to use millimeter screws in the United States. Now, if you want to, sending these overseas, that would be wonderful and stuff like that, but you're just going to piss off your people because whenever I go down to Lowe's and I look for my millimeter screws, like if I did it today, the drawers are always empty because they have such a small selection. They just, nobody ever has millimeter screws. Then I got to drive all over town or order them or anything like that. So if I decide I'm going to mount this box to something thicker, 
I don't have to go find a bunch of millimeter screws. I just go down to any Lowe's, any um, Home Depot, and they have number six screws. Now, I don't think you're using metric screws. I think you're just saying that because you're actually using a screw that tight, that that's like a sheetrock screw that screws into here. So you need a certain you know hole there, whatever. But I, I just wanted to show you that. So the example that I'm printing up right now is the new logo on this lid. And then I'm going to pull the guts out of this and then I'm just going to, I'll send you the files, but I'm actually going to send you one of these black boxes with this lid, the new lid, and this actual box that you're looking at right now. And I'll just print me a new one. Um, I, I think I'm going to try and see if I can get um, some testing where I can do dual colors or something on here. So I still have some time on the unit I'm making with this, so I, I'll just send you this exact box because you see it works. I'll even leave the tape in as it is and you can test it out and all that. And once again also, if these seem to change different than what you sent me this one or they're different, instead of having to change the whole box, you just change, we can change the size of this, the thickness of this, and I'll, or, or you know, and then change that part. You don't have to change all your boxes and such. So kind of a long pitch, but I really wanted to explain to you why I made the box the way I made it, and I love it. I had to change my box on my mill twice because I decided I didn't like it one place and I changed it to the other place. And I actually had to use a little thicker screw on the other one. And I just loved the way that it, it, you know you can manipulate around it. It worked great. And I also like this. This trick worked because, like I said, the guts of my other one have something up here. Well, I had enough headroom there. And we had a little foam pad that had to go in to keep that thing from going up and down. And this seems to be, um, I believe, a little shorter. I, I, I could be a little longer. I can't remember. But it was a different size because when I... Uh, put it in here, like I said, so it must have been shorter because I had to push the wedge in farther. But it worked. That was the whole idea is that then you're not having to redesign it all the time. And as you see, those front panels seem to fit up well. Okay, that's it.